Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed since last time. Donald Trump's birther obsession. It's not that I mind Donald Trump running around fucking up Mitt Romney's shit. In fact, I'm pretty delighted about it, actually. It's just that I'm beyond tired of hearing people talk about how they're dubious of Barack Obama's status as a native-born citizen of the United States when all this birther stuff has been debunked over and over and over again for four years now. I mean, look, if Trump wants to publicly support Romney and still also court attention for himself by making a complete ass of himself in public, there must be better, fresher, more entertaining ways of doing it than constantly hard harping on the birther stuff. I mean, look, how about this? What if the Romney campaign designates Trump as their pit bull, and they send him out to deal with attacks on Romney about, you know, Bain Capital, or tying the dog to the roof, or bullying a gay classmate when he was in school, or the LDS church's less than stellar history with the blacks. You know, Trump would actually be really good for that last one, because he has a great relationship with the blacks. Really, just ask him. He'll tell you. Doctor withholds emergency contraception from rape victim. Last week, a woman brought her daughter, who had just been raped, into the emergency room at Canadian Valley Hospital in Yukon, Oklahoma. The rape victim was first denied a rape kit since state budget cuts have forced the nurses who specialize in rape examinations to rotate from location to location, and they just so happened to be working somewhere else that day. And if that doesn't piss you off, try this one on for size. The victim was also denied access to emergency contraceptives by the emergency room doctor examining her on the grounds that providing her with such emergency contraceptives would violate her, that's the doctor's, beliefs. And the doctor was completely within her legal rights to do so, thanks to a so-called conscience clause an Oklahoma state law that protects health care providers who refuse to provide contraception to patients on the grounds that doing so would violate their religious beliefs. You know, maybe I'm being a little too harsh when I say this, but fuck this doctor and her conscience! If your conscience tells you that it's ever okay to choose your personal beliefs over helping a rape victim, then you need to get a new conscience. And if you also happen to be a doctor or a nurse, then you need to get a new fucking job. The Pope plays the victim after document leak. The revelation that the Pope's butler has secretly been stealing confidential papal documents has, in the words of the Pope himself, brought sadness to his heart. The Pope has also blamed the media for publishing exaggerated rumors and giving a, an exaggerated and false image of the Vatican. And, you know, that really is who I feel sorry for in all of this. The Pope. I mean, think about it. The petty, corrupt, evil organization revealed in those leaked documents is his church. Poor guy. Hey, at least they finally captured the scoundrel responsible, Paolo Gabriel, and locked him up in Vatican jail, where he can't do any more harm by exposing the church to the rest of the world for the gang of crooks and criminals that it really is. And hey, speaking of that, you know what else is really stupid about all of this? The fact that the Vatican gets to have its own jails. Why does the Vatican get to have its own jails? I mean, I realize that it's because the rest of the world recognizes the Vatican as a sovereign nation, but why the fuck does the rest of the world do that? I mean, if we're going to bestow sovereignty on the Vatican, why don't we also give it to Apple? Or Google. I mean, can you imagine if Larry Page discovered that his butler was secretly selling confidential secrets to, oh, let's say the Chinese, and he announced that Google was going to handle the matter internally by locking the butler up in jail at the Googleplex until such a time when he could be tried for his crimes? And I presume the trial would be broadcast live as a public hangout on Google+, Plus. so I mean, at least there'd be some transparency, but... Look, my point is, Google should be its own country. What? Cardinal pays off pedophile priests. And the Catholic Church scores the hat trick. 
Documents released during a recent bankruptcy proceeding for the Diocese of Milwaukee show that former Archbishop of Milwaukee and current Archbishop of New York and walking sack of shit Cardinal Timothy Dolan authorized payments of up to $20,000 to accused pedophile priests if they would agree to leave the priesthood without a fight. Dolan described one such payment as, quote, an act of charity to help the priest slash child rapist recipient afford to buy health care coverage for himself after he was dismissed from the clergy. So giving cash money to priests who fuck children so they can buy health insurance is okay, but government mandated coverage of contraception under health insurance for everybody else is a violation of conscience and religious liberty. Have you ever wanted to drive 250 miles just to shove a pointy hat up someone's ass? The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.